never forgot to send me beautiful roses. And we won't ever forget him. Not ever. No, Father. I won't. you very much, Julian. And so did I. I loved you so much. So, so very, very much. find the, the woman that was inside me. And I didn't even know it. You saw her from the very beginning. I loved you for that. Olivia told me at your memorial that uh, when your dream for the family became a reality that you were going to come and look for me again. want me to go on living. But I am very, very sick. And I don't want to be a burden. I came here because I I knew you'd understand. You were always such a good listener. I have some decisions to make. And like you always said, the tough ones you make alone. And that's what I'm going to do. Whatever I decide, it's going to be all by my big grown-up self. I 
I just wanted to come here and tell you that. And say goodbye. They'll be the last flowers you give me. Darling, did I really get to go? I have a runaway star I have to deal with today. Oh, yes, Colton. Oh, yeah, you know, he's my child of misbehaving these days. Not to mention Cheryl. I have to deal with her. Ah, uh, anything new in that area? No, nothing, but I think she would call you first. I gotta go, honey. I'm late. Bye, baby. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. You too. Okay, bye-bye. Mm. Oh, hi, Felicia. Hi. Well, one lady leaves, another one arrives. Good for you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good morning, Princess. What are you doing here so early, huh? Well, I wanted to talk to you about Frisco. I hope I'm not interrupting you. Ah, I am about to leave. I understand you two had quite a field day in Washington, hmm? Well, we discovered a few things. Really? I wasn't aware the WSB was into giving out information. Oh, you know me, Bobby. I am my word. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Hello. Uh, yes, this is Sean Donnelly. Yes, I will be in my office today. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Strange. Whoever it was, wasn't very friendly. Is your business in need of absolute security? Is your life in need of more stability? And I am the man for you. Jane Donnelly. Oh, um, yes, Felicia Jones does work here. Uh, no, I expect in any minute. Can I take a message? Hello? 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 Good morning. Oh, Felicia. Sorry I'm late. I talked over at Sean. Yeah. Oh, no, I forgot to say this. <laughs> Should we not be strange friends? <laughs> you know I do. Why? Yeah, well, one of them phoned this morning, and um, they were inquiring after you. When I said I'd take a message, they hung up. Inquiring? Mm-hmm. They asked if you worked here. Well, I'm sure they'll call back. Did you find out any more about Frisco? No. Oh, I'm sorry. But just don't you get it into your head to go off and try anything on your own, all right? I would never do anything like that. Yeah, right. Never. Is this the morning's meal? Yes, it is. I've done all the junk stuff. You can do the bills if you like. Good, thank you. Come back. Oh, hi, baby. I'm sorry. You I... all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I forgot things. Give me a hand. I'm off. You know, um, after we've been married about 50 years or so, I'd expect a kiss like this. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, bye. I want another. Another? Mm-hmm. Mm. Sean, has gotten into you, honey? <laughs> Sean, I have a business to run, you know? I missed you. You missed me? I mm -hmm. was 
Bill's only gone about a half hour. Oh, I know. Yeah, I said we, you know, we had last night, remember? Oh, I know that, too. Yeah, well, uh, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, maybe Robert might come in. What do you think? He might come in? He won't. He won't? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. That's not fair. Oh, baby, I've got to go. Please, oh, think good thoughts, and I'll see you after a while, okay? Love you. Hello. Yes, this is Sean Donnelly. Am I going to be in my office today? Well, I might, might not. Who is this? Well, Robin does sound a little better. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. How was the meeting? I don't know yet. Hey, I just don't know. Well, if you ever want to talk to anybody about it, you know where I am. Thank you. <laughs> Rain Donnelly Investigations. Yes, this is Felicia Jones. We close at six o'clock. Who's this? Hello? Strange, I just got a phone call like what you got earlier. Hmm? Yeah, they asked what time we closed. I told them, and then they hung up. Well, maybe it was a prospective customer. Maybe. But then they asked for me. May I help you? Yeah, tell Mr. John I'd like to speak to her when she's free. Uh... Would you excuse me just a moment, please? Sure. Thank you. See if you can help that woman find something that she likes, and I'll speak with Mr. Lavery. She comes in almost every day. She hasn't bought anything yet. Maybe you'll have some luck with her. Okay. This is a very pleasant surprise. Is it? <laughs> Sneezing, watery eyes. It gets better than this. This isn't going to be a pleasant surprise. It depends. You're rather monosyllabic this morning. I'm sorry. I've given a great deal of thought to what I have to say. And? And you're right. I do need help with the family business. I thought it was clearly understood that family business would be conducted at the Club Duke office. Or is this a social visit, Mr. Lavery? This is business. I figured as much. I didn't want to take Olivia away from her gallery. A somewhat public place for discussions, don't you think? Excuse me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but uh, Gallery Olivia will be closing now. We'll open back up this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Thank you very much. Uh, please come back. I won't hear of it. It goes against every principle I believe in. I thought these decisions were up to me. Not in this case. Not where it concerns my daughter. Father. Come here. I want you to hear this. It seems that you've convinced Duke here to allow you to work with him as his partner. Thank you, Duke. Tell him where we were this morning. Is that necessary? Tell him. We visited Julian's grave. Yes. We stood there looking down at his grave, knowing that all the time there was another grave just a few yards further off, the grave of my other son, also your brother, Olivia. I know. You know? And do you know what it's going to feel like for me to wait for the day when I'm standing in the cemetery again, looking down at your grave? That won't happen, Father. Why not? Why not, sweetheart? Why won't it happen? Julian thought it could never happen to him, but it did. I think I can involve Olivia in the business with a minimum risk to her safety. That's not good enough. I need someone to help me, Victor. Someone who understands the intricacies of the way the family works. I think Olivia is that person. I told you before, it's not for you to decide. Well, in that case, sir, there's a breach of faith. And such a breach releases me from my commitment. I can't believe you would walk away from this. Do you want to watch me? Please give me the chance to use myself to my full capacity, Father. Give us both the chance. I know that together, Duke and I will never disappoint you. I have to think. 
You'll hear from me by the end of the day. Thank you, Duke, for your faith in me. I didn't think he'd be too happy about it. It was a showdown that had to come. He'll decide for me. It'll be difficult for him. But he knows you're right. I told your father from the very beginning I wouldn't sacrifice Anna and Robert to the family business because I, I love them both too much for that. Why are you telling me this? If you're going to be my partner, I think it's something you should know. Fair enough. Then we, you and I will work together to legitimize the family business. You'll need me to accomplish that. I realize that. That's why we're here. I understand. And then we can discuss her various areas of responsibility after your father gets back to us, of course. Anything you want from me, I'll do for you. Anything at all.